Hello students, in this lecture we will discuss the applications of MacLafferty rearrangement. There are two applications of MacLafferty rearrangement which involves the differentiation between uh, positional isomers, chain isomers and uh, functional group isomers. The first application is nothing but the differentiation between uh, compounds having the same functional group that is uh, positional isomer or chain isomers whereas the second application belongs to the compounds having a different functional group it indicates a functional group isomers so let's begin with the application and the first application is a uh, distinguish or differentiate between compounds with same functional group. Now let's consider the example of isomers of aldehyde and examples of isomers of ketones. Let's begin with uh, 2-methyl-butanol and 3-methyl-butanol. The structure of 2-methyl-butanol uh, is like this, a CH3, a CH2 here, then CH, here CHO and this CH is attached with a CH3. It is a 2-methyl-butanol or butyl aldehyde, butyl aldehyde and uh, its isomer is like this uh, CH3 then here CH it is attached with the CH3 here CH2 and uh, CHO it is a 3-methyl butanol. Now Look at the structure of these two compounds. These are the isomers of aldehydes and in which the CH3 group here it is attached with the second carbon whereas in this compound it is attached with the third carbon. Therefore, it is a positional isomers as well as a chain isomers because there is a change in the structure here and functional group is the same one that is aldehyde. Now, on the basis of MacLafferty rearrangement, we can differentiate these two compounds. If you consider the mass of this 2-methylbutanol as well as 3-methylbutanol, they are same because the number of carbon atoms, number of hydrogens and number of oxygens, they are equal. That's why the molecular ion should possess the m by z value which is same one. Therefore, it is necessary to go through a MacLafferty rearrangement and to have a MacLafferty ion and that MacLafferty ion possesses a different m by z ratio or mass to charge ratio. So, we will start with the MacLafferty rearrangement. In the first step, we know that this 2-methylbutanol as well as 3-methylbutanol, it undergoes ionization to give a uh, molecular ion like this i will write here a molecular ion and here there is a positive charge and a single electron along with the lone pair of electron so 2-methylbutanol or 3-methylbutanol undergo ionization to form this type of molecular ion and in the next step what will happen a MacLafferty rearrangement occurs here also and here also in the MacLafferty rearrangement we know that there is a transfer of gamma hydrogen from this carbon to this oxygen with the breaking of this alpha beta bond alpha beta carbon bond and there is a making of this a uh, beta gamma double bond so uh, what will we get here ch2 double bond ch2 after maclafferty rearrangement and there is a ch 
which is attached to CH3. Here double bond came and here hydrogen and this double bond oxygen gets converted into OH with the positive charge on this carbon. This is the McLafferty ion in case of 2-methyl butanol and the M by Z value of this McLafferty ion it is found to be of 58. Now consider the 3-methyl butanol. In 3-methyl butanol uh, similarly uh, McLafferty rearrangement occurs by the transfer of gamma hydrogen to this oxygen with the breaking of this bond and formation of carbon double bond carbon here. So we get a CH2 here then double bond here CH and this CH3 that's why instead of ethene here we get a propene plus the remaining a McLafferty ion and it will be like this uh, CH and here OH positive charge then lone pair of electron the M by Z value of this McLafferty ion is 44 now look at the structure of 2 methyl butanol and 3 methyl butanol though they possess a same molecular formula same M by Z value of the molecular ion they shows a different McLafferty ion here the M by Z value is 58 and M by Z value is 44. So on the basis of McLafferty ion peak in the mass spectrum, we can easily distinguish between these two compounds. We will take the example of isomers of ketones. In the isomers of ketone, we will take uh, hexanone and pent two pentanone. So that's why I will write here. Uh, it is 2 pentanone, therefore a CH3 C double bond O. Then uh, it contains methyl group at the fourth carbon. That's why we will write a CH here, then CH here, CH3, and here CH3. And this group becomes CH2. This is a 4 methyl or uh, 2 pentanone. Now, the isomers of this 4-methyl-2-pentanone is a 3-hexanone and I will write from this side a CH3, a CH2, then C double bond O, here a CH2, CH2 and CH3. It is a 3-hexanone. Now, look at the structure. Here, there are a 5 carbons they are in a straight chain and one is substituted at the fourth carbon whereas in this compound there are six carbon they are in a straight chain therefore it is a chain isomers as well as a positional isomers because here carbonyl group present at the second position whereas here a carbonyl group present at the third position now this pentanone and hexanone they possess the same functional group and on the basis of McLafferty rearrangement we can easily differentiate these two compounds because on the basis of molecular ion we can't differentiate these two compounds because they have a same M by Z value that is here we have a hundred here also M by Z value is hundred if the molecular ion is considered now consider the molecular ion here a positive charge came here also positive charge and single electron with the lone pair of electron this is the molecular ion of pentanone and hexanone now let's go through the McLafferty rearrangement when the McLafferty rearrangement occurs in this compound what will happen uh, it is alpha carbon beta carbon and gamma carbon one of the hydrogen from this carbon transferred here with the breaking of this bond with the formation of this bond. Now we will get here a propene because there is a substitution at this carbon plus remaining structure contains a CH2 double bond C then a OH oxygen contains positive charge then here a CH3. The M by Z value is found to be 58 in case of 4 methyl 2 pentanone. 
Now consider hexanol. Similar strategy here alpha, beta, and gamma. One of the hydrogen transferred to oxygen with the breaking of alpha beta bond and formation of alkene molecule by your double bond. Now alkene molecule is ethene plus remaining structure I will write a CH2 double bond C here OH a positive charge then CH2 CH3 the M by Z value is a 72 in this way we get a different M by Z value of the McLafferty ion on the basis of this McLafferty ion we can differentiate the isomers of ketones. So this is all about the compounds having the same functional group. Now let's take the example of the compounds having a different functional group but they possess the same molecular formula. The second application distinguish between a compounds with a different functional group. For this purpose, we will take the example of either acidic compounds or aldehydic and ketonic compound. So let's start with a pentanol and pentanone. So the pentanol has a structure like this CH3, uh, CH2, CH2 here also, CH2 and CHO. It is a pentanol and the isomer of this pentanol with a different functional group that is uh, CH3, CH2, CH2 then I will write here CO and CH3. It is a 2 pentano. Now look at the functional group. Here the functional group is aldehyde whereas here the functional group is ketone. The M by Z value of the molecular ion of this both the compound is the same. Uh, M by Z value is here 86. M by Z value is 86. Number of carbon, number of hydrogen, number of oxygen, they are same. That's why the molecular ion has M by Z value 86 and the molecular ion can be written like this after ionization. Now, we can differentiate these two molecules using McLafferty rearrangement. So, after McLafferty rearrangement, we will get a McLafferty ion. In this compound, this is alpha carbon, beta carbon, and gamma carbon. From this gamma carbon, one hydrogen is transferred to oxygen with the breaking of this bond and with the formation of this bond. So, we will get here. A CH and CH3 that is propene plus structure of McLafferty ion is like this OH and here H a positive charge that is McLafferty ion here M by Z value is a 44 whereas in case of this uh, 2 pentanone fan a uh, McLafferty rearrangement occurs with the transfer of gamma hydrogen from this carbon to oxygen and then breaking of this bond with the formation of this double bond. We get CH2 double bond CH2 plus uh, CH2 double bond COH and there is a presence of CH3 on this side and the McLafferty rearrangement gives a McLafferty ion having M by Z value of 58. Look at the values of McLafferty ion. Here we get a 44 whereas here we get 58. In this way, these both compounds, they can be distinguished or they can be differentiated 
by using a Mac Lafferty ion peak in the mass spectrum. Now consider the second example from this uh, application and which involves acidic and ester groups. First I will write the acid and structure is like this a CH2 then once again CH2 and a COOH. Name of this acid is pentanoic acid or it is generally called as a valeric acid. Structure of ester is like this. OCH3. It is a methyl butanoate or butyrate. Look at the number of carbon atoms. Here there is a presence of 5 carbon atoms. Here also 5 carbon atoms. Number of hydrogens, number of oxygens, they are same. Here the M by Z value of the molecular ion is found to be 102. Here also the M by Z value of molecular ion is found to be 102. This is the molecular ion of butanoic acid and this is the molecular ion of uh, methyl butanoate. Now go through the McLafferty rearrangement. In the McLafferty rearrangement, the gamma hydrogen from this carbon transferred here with the breaking of this bond with the formation of this double bond and here we get CH2 double bond CH which is attached to CH3 that is propene plus a CH2 double bond C here OH here also OH this oxygen contains a positive charge this is the McLafferty ion in a pentanoic acid and the M by Z value of this McLafferty ion is a 60. Now in the methyl butanate, alpha carbon, beta carbon and gamma carbon, one of the hydrogen is transferred from gamma carbon to this oxygen with the breaking of alpha beta bond formation of a double bond between these two carbons and we get a CH2 double bond CH2 plus a CH2 double bond C here OCH3 and carbon is attached with the OH. This is the McLafferty ion of methyl butanate having M by Z value 74. Though the molecular ion of pentanoic acid and methyl butanate they have a same M by Z value or same mass to charge. Pentanoic acid has mass to charge ratio. McLafferty ion McLafferty ion of pentanoic acid has mass to charge ratio 60 whereas McLafferty ion of methyl butanate has mass to charge ratio 74. On the basis of these two values in the mass spectrum we can easily differentiate a pentanoic acid and methyl butanate. In this way, we will able to differentiate or distinguish between the compounds having a different functional group. This is all about the applications of McLafferty rearrangement. You can solve a number of examples so that you will get a mastery in a McLafferty rearrangement. This ends a uh, McLafferty rearrangement and its applications. Thank you for watching.